Set in Berlin, Germany, there's this young MMA fighter named Octavio Bergman. He's getting ready because his big fight will start in an hour. Octavio is not with any fancy agency. Instead, he's got into this fighting game with his buddies, relying on each other. His friend Paul is like his manager. This fight's been pushed back many times by the folks running it. But now it's finally happening, and it's on the same day as his daughter's birthday. Octavio, who's split up from his wife, has a daughter named Leonie. She was born when he was just 19. While warming up, Octavio calls his daughter to promise he'll be at her birthday party with a cake and the present she wants. With his friend Paul and his fighting buddy Cosima, they head to the fight arena. On the way, Octavio's trying to figure out how to win this fight without getting any bruises on his face because he wants to look good for his daughter's birthday party right after. Octavio and his friends got to the event place. Chino, a gang leader, blocked their way when they walked into the changing room. Chino told Octavio he better win the fight because he bet on Octavio to win. Right then, Octavio got a call from his ex, Mina, who was mad because Octavio lied to their daughter, saying he'd bring cake and presents for her birthday starting in an hour. Mina told Octavio that he better show up on time with no excuses. Octavio was pissed, but he had to get ready to fight. Just before the event began, Mina's husband, a lawyer, called Octavio to say Mina was planning to ask for full custody of their daughter. He said Octavio was seen as not good enough to take care of her, especially because Octavio chose a fight over her birthday. He advised Octavio to make it to his daughter's birthday party, starting in an hour if he didn't want to lose her. Octavio quickly went to change his clothes and hurried out of the place. Paul tried to stop him, but Octavio was too messed up to care. All Octavio could think about was how to get his daughter's custody back. As he left the building, Chino and his crew were shocked to see Octavio suddenly go and quickly follow him. Octavio had to move faster since the birthday event was quite far away. He then continued his journey using Uber. Paul managed to call him during the trip, telling him they would face disqualification if he didn't arrive on time. He hoped Octavio would come back to the location while he tried to stall for time with the organizers. But no matter how much Paul wanted to persuade him, Octavio didn't listen because putting his daughter's custody first was all that mattered to him. While on the road, traffic jammed up because of a market, trapping Octavio in his car. Some gang members caught up and found Octavio, who then decided to escape by breaking through. But they surrounded him eventually. It was weird when Chino, one of the gang members, insisted that Octavio return to the scene, even though he wasn't running the event. Tired of being chased, Octavio chose to fight back. A fierce fight broke out between Octavio and the gangsters. The thugs tried to get Octavio into the car without hurting him, but they struggled because Octavio was a tough fighter. Finally, they got to knock Octavio out by putting him in a chokehold. After he passed out, they quickly put him in the car. But on the way, Octavio fought back again because he had only pretended to be unconscious to decrease the number of enemies he had to face at once. As soon as he got out of the car, he immediately attacked Chino's guys without mercy. Tired of dealing with Octavio, Chino ordered his crew to call in much more ruthless reinforcements. At the same time, Octavio's parents called, asking about their grandchild, unaware their son was in big trouble. Shortly after, Paul called to share crucial info that Chino had fixed Octavio's match before it happened and had bet a lot of money on it. With Octavio's planned defeat, that money would be gone. This explains why the gangsters were keen on getting Octavio back in the ring. The new crew Chino sent arrived quickly, forcing Octavio to keep running. This time, he decided to hide in a nearby training facility and asked his friends for help to fight off Chino's minions. A fierce fight between the gangster members and MMA fighters continued. Even though two of Octavio's friends were women, they were incredibly skilled in fighting. In the middle of the fight, Octavio plans to escape through a window, but Cosima asks him to explain what is happening. Octavio then shared that he was at risk of losing his daughter and needed more help. Moreover, Octavio had to attend a birthday party and pick up a cake and gifts he had ordered. Cosima agreed to help on the condition that her salary would be increased next month. After Octavio managed to escape, the gangsters pulled out weapons, making Cosima and her friends too scared to fight back anymore. In a short time, some members of the Chino gang were trying to chase Octavio. When he saw a police car on patrol nearby, Octavio asked for help. But because the cops ignored him, and Octavio even swore at them, the police ended up detaining him. Even so, Octavio felt safer than if he had to keep running from the gangsters. With only 45 minutes left before his daughter's birthday party started, Octavio hoped he would be taken to the police station close to his destination. However, on the way, a car suddenly hit them. 
The driver of the vehicle was Winkler, Chino's brother, trying to catch Octavio and threatening him with a gun. Luckily, Octavio quickly turned the tables. After that, Octavio ran away, heading to the cake shop where he had ordered a cake earlier. Since Cosima had no money, Octavio had to step in to pick up the cake, which was specially ordered with a cat picture, his daughter's favorite. But as he was about to leave the shop, Winkler reappeared. Octavio asked for permission to pass, but the gangsters acted badly and even threw away his daughter's birthday cake. This made Octavio angry, and he started to unleash all his skills to defeat Winkler. Octavio didn't stop hitting until Winkler passed out, with Octavio's hands covered in blood. If nobody stopped him, Winkler might have died. But trouble came again when the MMA fighter, who was supposed to be Octavio's opponent, along with some thugs, showed up at the spot. Luckily, during the chase, a buddy of Octavio's, let's call him the Mustached Man, arrived on a motorcycle and offered a ride. Thanks to that, they managed to escape from the enemies. Octavio asked the Mustache Man to drop him off at the subway station, but he took Octavio to a building. In that building, it was revealed that the Mustache Man worked for a very dangerous Russian mafia. The bearded man was ordered to bring Octavio for interrogation. Danica, the mafia boss, suspected Octavio had teamed up with another gangster and deliberately withdrew to cause a loss in a bet. Danica, who was very angry for having handed over 500,000 euros to Chino to double through betting, and now the money was gone. Listen to Octavio's explanation. Octavio argued that he ran away to win back custody of his daughter. At first, Danica didn't believe it until Octavio was almost burned. Danica finally believes Octavio's explanation and orders Chino to come to the location for execution. When the mafia's guard is distracted, Octavio manages to escape from the place, even though his hands are still tied to a chair. Octavio runs to the subway station in front of the building where he was held. While on the train, Octavio asks a kid to untie him. News about a police officer being hit goes viral, and a video of Octavio fighting that was uploaded to social media spreads too. But Octavio doesn't care about that, and is annoyed because the cake he promised his daughter is now ruined. On his way, Octavio tries to call his daughter, but she thinks Octavio has broken his promise. Tired, Octavio eventually falls asleep during the journey. After waking up, he realizes he's not too far away anymore. But an MMA fighter who is a member of Chino's gang and his subordinates appears again and chases Octavio. Octavio tries to run away until he enters a nightclub. There, with no other option, he has to fight. When he's caught off guard, Octavio gets cut by a sharp object held by his enemy, leaving his stomach wounded and bleeding. But he didn't have time to complain because the real fight was beginning. This time, his opponent was no ordinary gangster, but an MMA fighter. At first, Octavio struggled to win the battle, especially with a serious wound in his stomach. But in the end, he managed to pull off an unexpected attack. With only 20 minutes left before his birthday event started, Octavio stopped by his parents' house for a quick rest and to treat his wounds. But shortly after he lay down, Paul called him back. Paul apologized for everything, including his involvement with Chino in rigging match outcomes, which he never disclosed. Paul explained that his actions were driven by their business's dire financial situation, leading to employees needing to be paid for months. During the conversation, it was revealed that Paul was under Chino's gunpoint, forced to disclose Octavio's location. However, Octavio chose not to respond. At this point, Octavio had lost the will to mend his relationship with his daughter, feeling like a failure as a father. However, Octavio's father advised him not to repeat the mistakes his father made, reminding him that earning a child's love requires hard work, even risking one's life if necessary. This advice made Octavio initially feel hopeless, but he is now motivated to continue his fight. He then got an idea to end the ongoing conflict. Octavio contacted Paul, informing him that he would soon arrive at an animal shelter, indicating that Chino would follow him to the location. He feared and told them he knew where Chino was. However, Octavio's plan wasn't just to gather gangsters and the mafia in the same place. He also planned to call the police to visit an animal shelter. Upon arrival, it turned out that the animal shelter was closed. Octavio then asked the shelter employee to open the door, but after being directly refused, Octavio decided to break in. Inside, he quickly adopted a cat as a birthday present for his daughter. However, when he was about to leave, Chino was already waiting at the door and dragged him to sit with Paul. Chino said that he had suffered a great loss because of their actions. Therefore, 
Chino demanded that Octavio and Paul agree to work to pay off his entire debt. During their conversation, the Russian mafia suddenly arrived at the location and a shootout occurred. A few seconds later, the police also arrived at the scene. The chaotic situation convinced Chino that Octavio had set him up. Without hesitation, Chino shot and wounded Paul's thigh. Although Octavio nearly got killed, luckily, Cosima arrived to provide help. Together, they launched a relentless assault on Chino. But Chino, armed with a crowbar, managed to injure Cosima seriously. Octavio almost knocked Chino out, but then got hit back in a spot where he was already wounded in his stomach. When Cosima got up and tried to launch a few attacks, a fierce fight ensued, but Chino refused to give up, resulting in Cosima getting hit and falling from a height. Octavio, furious, kept attacking Chino to knock him out. However, somehow, Chino was still able to stand. Cosima, reappearing, tried to protect Octavio from a counterattack, but both were too drained to continue, and the fight ended when Paul shot, scaring their enemy away. The police had secured the Russian gangsters and mafia outside the building. Octavio and his friends had to leave quickly to avoid being caught by the police. Before they went their separate ways, Octavio forgave all of Paul's mistakes on the condition that Paul would give Cosima a raise payment the next month. The clock struck 6.04 p.m., marking that Octavio was late for his child's birthday party. But for Octavio, being on time wasn't the priority. What mattered most was ensuring his daughter got the gift he had promised her. Staggering forward, Octavio pressed on, but Chino reappeared in his path. Before seeing his daughter, Octavio took a moment to wash his face with water. Dust and blood from a previous fight still covered his body. After cleaning up, he continued on foot for several kilometers. Remember, Octavio had a serious stomach wound, not to mention bruises from various fights. As he finally saw the house, Octavio collapsed, too weak to go on. Luckily, his daughter came out of the house and hugged him. She was overjoyed to see her father no longer caring about the cake or the promised gift. She wondered why her father was covered in wounds, but Octavio just answered with a smile. The movie ends with this scene.